In this video, I'm gonna show you a incredible, incredible route combination out of the U-Trips formation that is going to help you get over the top of 30 yard cloud flats in Madden 22 whenever your opponent is double Maybelline. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. I hope you enjoy the video and make sure you hit the sub button if you wanna stay up to date on our uh, latest tips and tricks. We do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. So again, if you're trying to get better at the game, I'd really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's free to do that. Also, if you enjoy this video, um, I have a full ebook on my gun and why off trips or gun U trips formation. You can get access to that in my Patreon membership. It's only uh, $10 to sign up for the Patreon and it gets you access to not only this ebook, but it gets you access to over 22 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive strategy guides. In addition to that, we do weekly videos every week for our members that are basically their pro tips or meta updates, kind of keeping you abreast of the, what the best players in the world are doing and why they're doing it and how you can hang with it. So if you want to learn how to do all that, again, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership in the description below. Now the play we're going to be taking a look at is the gun Y off trips pads curl flats. This is in the Patriots playbook, of course. And typically as a general rule, whenever we're running this formation in particular, we would like to have our trip set to the field. What I mean by that is we want our formation. You see how we have three receivers to the right. If the ball is on the left hash mark, we want those three receivers to be on the right side. If the ball is on the right hash mark, we want to flip it and put our three receivers on the left side of the field. Just a simple way for us to get the best spacing possible um, so that we can be you know, as, as effective as we possibly can. Okay, so let's talk about this play curl flat, and it's real simple. Um, if you think and look at, um, kind of just look at any defense in general this year, but if you take a look at the meta, they're generally speaking, if they're in a nickel defense, they're going to have probably three, four at the most to the short side. And then on the wide side, you'll see they'll typically have one, two, three, four, five defenders. So they got five defenders to the wide side of the field in the zone coverage if they drop eight or nine. And they're going to have only three to four receiver or uh, defenders to the backside. So it makes a lot of sense to go from the wide side to the short side to kind of attack their coverage, if you will. So what I like to do with this play is it's kind of a quick step play, but um, you can do it however you'd like to. However you'd like to. Um, I think you're going to need a little bit more time, if you will, with this play. So what I like to do is block my tight end. I like to streak my solo receiver he's gonna help kind of clear everything out for me i'm gonna put my running back on an out and then this backside guy you can kind of do whatever you want with him my favorite thing is just to simply put him on a baby in route little five yard in route and he's gonna serve as our check down uh, for this route concept and what you're gonna see here is if they don't use her this r1 receiver i'm just gonna pass lead him up on the sideline and as you can see he is going to get over top of every zone coverage in this game. Now, another little cool trick that I like to do, because sometimes what you'll see, and I'm not sure exactly where this started, um, to kind of help combat some bombs, they'll put this defender right here into an inside quarter that helps stop a lot of the bomb concepts in Madden 22. So what I like to do to kind of counter that is I will take this guy and motion him out. And the reason why I like to do that is pretty simple. It's just to kind of give them another look. And I, I know I'm going to block my tight end to give myself extra protection. And what you'll see is this will still absolutely clear over the top of the zone. But hopefully you notice that my receiver, Chris Godwin, was also running right down the middle of the field uh, wide open. And so I'll show you that. And this is just kind of an adjustment that I like to do just in case, you know, they're running an inside quarter. This is a great little adjustment. And for the running back, you can, if you want to, put him on an option route. Um, that's a really good route for, for man and zone. Because against zone, it's going to require them to have a yellow zone over on that side of the field. Um, that's something little that you can kind of mix in if you'd like to. Uh, but again, what you'll see here, just pass lead this once he gets over the cloud. And as you can see, that inside quarter is not going to be able to guard um, you know, that deep fade to Chris Godwin. So that's something real simple. And what that's going to mean is it's going to force them now to have to deep half on that side of the field. They're going to have to have an outside third or they're going to have to have a deep half zone. 
Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier uh, for your your route to clear out the zones. Again, a lot of times, like I said, you're gonna get a, a lot of zone um, on that side of the field. One other thing, that, or one other way that I like to run this is, is kind of a true um, attack, if you will, to this side. And it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to hitch Chris Godwin and we're going to out route or table route, if you will, Bernard. And then we're going to motion Mike Evans across and put him on the clear out fade. And that's just something, you know, again, if you just want a little bit better, um, you know, just a little bit better to attack that specific hash mark. And again, you'll see how good that post route is getting over the top of those zones. There's really nothing in the game that is going to guard that cut or that route. Um, they're going to have to basically user it. And so that's where I really do like to take, you know, Mike Evans and motion him some on this as well. And the reason, again, just kind of coming back to it is I can now hitch uh, Chris Godwin and have a nice little uh, concept against zone. And then I've obviously got this route really well. And then notice this too. If they try to press you, a lot of times Mike Evans will kind of burn the bump and run coverage and you'll be able to get over the top for a one play score. So one of the metas right now in Madden 22 is you're seeing a lot of press coverage. So this is a great way to kind of combat that and force them to have to shade their coverage over the top. But when they go to shade their coverage over the top, what you'll find out really quickly, and again, you have the stock table route to the back. So that's another nice little piece of this. But what you'll find out pretty quickly is if they shade up, a lot of times you can aggressive catch that hitch and be able to have it against man. Another little secret about this play that I really, really like, and it's more so, um, I mean, you could do this against man as well, but let's just say they have like, you know, the perfect, the perfect coverage. So they have the purple over here. And then, you know, again, it's going to be almost impossible for them to create this coverage, to be honest with you. But let's just say they have, you know, a three wreck over here and they're, they're really kind of trying to take away the hitch on this. What I like about this is it's going to give me an option. So they have to, again, they have to run with Scotty Miller. If they don't run with him, it's going to be a dot. So we don't have to worry about pressure either because we're blocking our tight end. Now what we can do is we can playmaker this hitch to the right and now work the whole right side of the field. So the beauty of this is it kind of opens up a lot of spacing for our offense. So this is one of my favorite routes in the game. It literally beats every single coverage in this game. And it's really simple. Now, again, I want to give you one more setup out of this because you, you can kind of mess around with this play a lot. So another setup that I, let's just say you're used to them and, and, and they're consistently, and I mean consistently dropping like, you know, eight people in coverage. You know that they're, they're, they're not blitzing. And so you're like, there's no real point for me to block my tight end. Well, in that scenario, what I like to do um, is take the tight end and put him on an out route and then streak Chris Godwin, real simple. You can leave the tight end on the flat route if you'd like to, but the out route this year gets really good animations against man and zone. And now what you have on this is a high low on the backside that you can kind of check down to as well. So again, this concept is so good. It's gonna beat every coverage in the game and it's really simple. Um, and you know what, just for fun, I'm gonna give you one other one. This is one that you can really mess around with a lot. Um, it's just really, really good, especially if they're Again, double Mabeling, this is a great route combo because of what it's gonna to do to the user. And we're just gonna to try to pull the user out of the middle of the field. And the way that we're gonna do that is if they don't go and user this running back route, it's gonna be wide open. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak God when we're gonna wheel the running back. And then I like to block the tight end. If you wanna put the tight end on a drag, you can put the tight end on a drag and then we're going to out route Mike Evans. And what you're gonna see here is we're just gonna motion the running back to the right and then we're gonna hike it right when he gets over there. And if they don't go user that, that is wide open every single time. It's gonna be man, it'll be zone, it doesn't matter what they do. So what they have to do now is they have to go guard the running back route. They also have to have a ton of zone coverage integrity if they were to do that. Otherwise, everything's open. That's why I love to have the drag uh, to the tight end just to kind of force them to have to be ready for that. But, so they're gonna run to the running back, obviously. So if they run to the running back, now look who's got an out leverage all the way over the top 
for an absolute laser over the top of the defense. Beats every zone, beats every man coverage, every coverage in the game. This route right here is really effective. So um, just a simple route combo. If you want to learn the rest of the U-Trips formation, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. Again, for just $10 a month, you're going to get access to all of our strategy guides all year long. In addition to that, you're also going to get weekly updates um, with the best kind of meta tips in the community. In addition to that, kind of what the pros are doing and really breaking down Madden at a very high level as well for you. So if you want to get better at the game, I would really encourage you uh, to join the Patreon. We've got a lot of really good material in there. And right now we're working on some major projects for our Patreon members um, that I think is going to be really, really helpful in terms of having resources that you can use across any Madden at any time. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. And again, if you want to get the membership, there's a link in the description and you can go sign up down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.